The AI tool I'm going to show you today allows you to instantly analyze anything that you've ever written or said. A little bit of background on me, I have built the first autonomous coach for creators. My name is Brian McNulty. I've been building a lot in AI. I'm the founder of Heights Platform, but there are so many great AI tools out there. And the one I'm about to show you, I cannot believe there aren't more people talking about it. I'm going to show you the exact workflow that I use. Let's get into it. Okay, the tool I'm gonna to show you is called Obsidian. You can download it for free at obsidian.md if you wanna follow along with this video. And if you're watching this and saying, wait a second, I've heard of Obsidian. That is just a note-taking app. What are you talking about? That has nothing to do with AI. Well, there are community plugins inside this app and two of them specifically have these AI options in them that are incredibly powerful and it's all free to use other than plugging in your OpenAI API key. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to set all that up and what it actually does. All right, so let's head over to obsidian.md and here you can go ahead and download it for free. Now, this is available on pretty much every platform, but for the purposes of following along on this video, you're going to want to download it on your computer because I believe that the AI plugins, at least for now, only work on the desktop version. Okay, so now we're inside Obsidian. This is a note I have open here already. I already put a bunch of my notes into here. And to get started, we want to first have you install these two AI plugins that I'm talking about. So you're gonna go into your settings and you'll see an option here for community plugins. Now I'm gonna to try to make this video strictly about these two plugins. Uh, it's really easy to go down the rabbit hole here and start trying out all these different plugins and customizing everything. Um, so I encourage you not to do that just yet. Let's focus on these two plugins. Later on, if you wanna uh, go down the rabbit hole, you can. Um, I'll scroll through the plugins that I am using here if you wanna take a look at the ones that I do have enabled to try those out for yourself at some point later. But the two that are AI specific are called Copilot and Smart Connections. So Copilot is the one here. And to install these plugins, you're gonna to go to Community Plugins, click Browse. And so we can type in Copilot. This is the one um, by Logan Yang. And then the other, might as well install that now as well is uh, Smart Connections by Brian Petro. So install both of those quick. And let's see, actually, yeah, it can, so it can tell us about the plugin a little bit here. And now these each do something a little bit similar, but they have different uses, uh, at least for now. So Smart Connections, what it will do is it will create these vector embeddings of everything in all of your notes. And what that means is the vector embedding is essentially this mathematical representation of what your note actually means. And this is really important because in my mind, at least one of the big problems with these second brain type note taking tools is it takes so much time just to organize all of your notes. Because I mean, once you get it all connected and then can say like, oh, well, this one references that one. Yes, it can be powerful, but there's a lot of time that has to be invested into doing that. So what this is going to do is by creating these vector embeddings with the AI, it's going to understand what is the meaning of a particular piece of text and how does that relate to another piece of text? Meaning that if you have these two notes that are actually similar, but don't have the same keywords, the AI will still be able to recognize that there's a similarity there. And this is really powerful for yourself because when you go to search for something, you might say, oh, did I ever write about uh, this topic or that topic? And then you find out that you can't find it because you can't think of the exact word that you used. In this case, the AI can help you search for that because it understands that the word that you're saying right now is similar to this note that you wrote here. So what Smart Connections is gonna do is it's going to make all those connections for you. And on any note that you view, you'll be able to see which notes are similar and it kind of lists them in a percentage score. It shows it down here actually on the right. I'll show that more in a second. So that's what Smart Connections is gonna do really briefly. And then Copilot is, can kind of be thought of as having a chat GPT basically integrated into your notes and able to understand the notes that you're currently working on. So I use both of these, but for slightly different purposes because Smart Connections does have 
this chat mode too. Um, for a co-pilot, here's um, some examples of this. They actually do now have that if you have a powerful enough computer and really want to get into this, you can install a uh, local model to be able to run AI just on your computer. You don't even need internet. You don't have to pay for any API usage or anything like that. In my opinion, that, that starts to get complicated. So if you already have some experience with that, you know uh, what they're talking about there, then you might want to venture into that. If not, let's stick to using uh, OpenAI and uh, their API key. So you can use ChatGPT, GPT 3.5, and GPT 4 with your notes. So let's uh, go ahead and make sure you click up here to install both of those. And now I'm gonna show you how they actually work. So here at first, uh, what we're looking at now is actually a chat history that I saved from using Copilot. And what for me was one of the most powerful uses here was to be able to take all the transcripts of my podcast. I have a podcast called The Creator's Adventure. If you wanna learn uh, about how other creators are growing their businesses, uh, I interviewed them there, so check that out, uh, thecreatorsadventure.com. You can find more of that. If you're on our YouTube channel right now, it's also on our YouTube. But so what I did here is I essentially took all of the transcripts of everything that I ever said on the podcast, and now I can ask questions about that. And so what's really powerful is I can open up any note, and here is, I'm gonna show you the exact prompt and everything that I use right here. It's really pretty simple. Um, let's go to this one here. So I have all my transcripts from all my guests right here. And it's just this basically jumbled piece of text. that's not even formatted how I got the transcript. And then uh, on the right side here, I opened up the Copilot. And so the Copilot plugin, we're going to have the model cell auction. We can choose uh, what we want it to be. I'm gonna use GPT-4 because it'll give me a little bit better quality. And then uh, we have these different options here. So I want to change this to active note. And when I change this to active note, now you can see it says, feel free to ask me questions about. And what that means is it has now embedded just this individual note. Um, the problem with something like ChatGPT is I can't just go ahead and paste these giant transcripts into it because it's not going to have enough memory to actually remember all of it. But when it's able to use this vector embedding like this, it's able to pull out the pieces that it thinks are going to be meaningful and then just use those so it can fit inside its memory. So I'm gonna paste in my uh, prompt right here. Let's see, it's not uh, too big in this little text box, but I'll read it off to you. So it says, extract and list the most interesting ideas presented here. Do not include those that involve introducing and reading someone's bio. After each idea, write the quote that um, it is from in the text. And so the purpose of me doing this right here is I want to figure out what are some interesting things that I happen to have said in my own podcast, but I don't want to talk about like what was interesting in me reading the person's bio in the introduction, because that wouldn't be included in this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit send. And now we'll wait a moment and the uh, AI is going to generate a response for us. All right, so we can see that uh, AI is writing a response here for us. And what's really neat is it's doing what I said here. It's writing out an idea, and then it's following that up with the exact quote. So I can go and find it in the transcript if I want to. So basically what I'm using this particular prompt for is it's going to let me figure out what are some interesting things that I could talk about, and maybe repurpose for something else on social media or anything like that. And that essentially, that use case is what I think is so powerful for the average creator to take everything that you've ever said and then ask questions about it in ways that you can basically synthesize your notes into different ways of being able to use them. So that is Copilot um, really basically right there. You can ask it questions about the note that you currently have open. Um, we could go ahead and save this conversation as a note um, if we want to make sure that we have all that later on. And you can also just use it like a chat GPT built into your notes. So if you're typing out something, trying to write something, um, and you want to select something and paste it in here, ask a question about that specifically, you could do that too. And now the next part is smart connections. You'll notice here on the right side, there is this list of other notes with a percentage next to it. And this here is the similarity of this note between the other ones. And 
what it did here is you'll notice that it also found like, okay, all of these are the transcripts. It can tell that all these transcripts are kind of similar compared to some other like more personal note that I might have written. And so this is great because anything you write, you don't have to worry about manually linking it and saying, oh, this one is related to this, so that way I can find it later. The AI here is going to do it for you with the smart connections. And so to be clear, because I didn't show this exactly before, we're gonna go into the settings and I'll show you how this works. So for Copilot, you wanna go here and get your OpenAI API key. If you've used ChatGPT and have an OpenAI account, then you can probably go ahead and get this. You wanna just follow the link here of where you can copy it. And now this will cost money to use, but especially if you're gonna use GPT 3.5 and not GPT 4 yet, the amount of money that it costs is so, so small. It's gonna be way, way less than paying for ChatGPT Plus, even if you're using it pretty often. So you've got Copilot right here. And then for smart connections, it's pretty similar. You paste in your OpenAI API key here as well. And then uh, this one also lets you choose a default model and how you want it to work. Now, so let's see how Smart Connections works and how it's different than Copilot. Smart Connections, I keep open in a separate tab right here. And what's really powerful about Smart Connections compared to Copilot is Copilot acts as like your ChatGPT plus asking questions about the note that you're currently working on. And Smart Connections not only has these connections for you for related notes, but what it will also do is allow you to ask questions about all of your notes as a whole. And this is really neat because you can say something like, what's the most surprising thing I've ever said? And it will be able to give you that response and figure those things out for you. So if you ever thought like, oh, did I ever talk about this thing before? Or what are some opinions that I had on X? Then you can use Smart Connections to ask questions about all of your notes as a whole and get those answers. Okay, so let's try this out and ask it a question. And I'm gonna ask it something related to what I've said about course creation, because my business, Heights Platform, we have an online course creation software. So I'm sure I've said some things related to creating online courses. So let's type out, uh, based on my notes, um, what are maybe, let's say, um, the most unexpected the most unexpected things I have said about creating online courses. And now let's see what the AI says. All right. So the most unexpected thing I have said about creating online courses is the fundamental reasons customers are buying your online course is because they will believe it will help them achieve a specific result. This means it's not just about teaching them a skill or knowledge, but rather about focusing on the outcome or transformation your course can provide. Okay, well, I say that quite a lot. Um, so that makes sense. All right. So I hope that gives you a good example here of what you could potentially use this for. I think it's really, really powerful to be able to feel more confident that you can just put all your notes in here, put all of your transcripts from any of your recordings, from a podcast, from your YouTube videos, and then be able to ask questions about it. So AI is really good at categorizing things as well. And some neat things I think it could be for you to try would be able to take something and maybe create like a rating system. This is something else I'm experimenting with, like taking a transcript of something that maybe it's a video you know did really, really well, and then taking a transcript of a video or a script that you're working on and then asking the AI like on a scale of one to 10, rate this for how interesting it is, how good the intro is, how captivating whatever part is, and then ask it to compare those two things and then see how your new one turns out. So you kind of have this reviewer for yourself as you're creating your own content. And really, I think those kinds of things are the best use of AI where you're not using it to create the content for you, but rather as this assistant to help you create the content easier. So you no longer have to be overwhelmed about the idea of spending all this time to try to organize your notes and get used to a program like this. Now you can simply put everything there, 
Don't even worry if it's organized or not and use tools like Smart Connections and Copilot and Obsidian to be able to get the answers that you need. I really hope this has been helpful to you. I really encourage you to go ahead and download this today. It costs basically nothing, only takes a few minutes to set up. And I really think that tools like this are going to make a big impact on how creators like yourself can build more in the future. And it's things like this that are even making me consider like, should I buy some separate audio recorder, maybe even just use the one like on my phone or my watch and just record everything that I say. That way I can put it into here later on and be able to ask the AI questions about what are the most important things I talked about today? What's, what's my agenda for today? What are the things that I know I was working on today to make sure I have them done for tomorrow? Anything like that. So it's a really great way now to take all the ideas that you might have and be able to get access to them so much easier without having to keep it all inside your head or spend hours to organize it. And if you're a creator, if you're building an online course, maybe a paid community, maybe offering some digital downloads, then check out Heights AI Coach. It is the first autonomous coach for creators and we've got a 30 day free trial at heightsplatform.com. It will learn on its own about your business and automatically assign tasks and recommendations to help you grow. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more videos like this one, please like and subscribe to our channel and then check out this video right here.